This is Alex Lawrence Barclay, AutoSense TV. I'm here with Eric at the Soft Kinetic stand. Eric, uh, welcome to AutoSense. What are we doing here? Why are we inside this uh, this little metal box? So we uh, wanted to uh, show our advance in um, gesture detection and driver monitoring technologies for uh, in cabin. Um, so we are developing uh, a depth sensor and a series of software in that purpose. So gesture recognition, uh, driver monitoring for security and infotainment systems. So I noticed around the car we've got some cameras looking at various different directions. I can see uh, I can see one looking at you and then another one looking down in the space just, just here, just in front of the microphone. Um, so what are they doing and, and can we see them working? Sure. So those uh, sensors are depth sensors, they, so they see in 3D. And so thanks to that we can run our software to analyze what the, the driver is doing. Is he distracted? Is he trying to interact with the infotainment system? Etc. Etc. And so that's what we're showing here in uh, that simulator. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you show us some gestures and sure. see what happens? So yes, first I'll engage the system with a uh, V gesture. So here you'll see first that the, the system is um, detecting that I'm sitting here. So there is a driver in the seat and then it's running the iris recognition. It recognizes me. So now I can have a uh, let's say customized experience to, to, for, for me. So here I've got a prompt that, okay, do you want to uh, proceed? I'm proceeding again and um, I can confirm that with a simple gesture. So I can keep my eyes on the road. I don't need to look at uh, my instrument cluster or central panel, I can really be focused on the road. So here you see, I've got three options, music. So let's pick music. I can uh, browse through my favorite music with a simple uh, thumb gestures pick one up and then increase the volume or decrease the volume with a simple circle gestures. So let's see, I'm, let's say I'm, uh, I'm falling asleep, so yeah, my head's falling, sleepy. you see, <laughs> you've got a, that uh, icon popping up on the, the screen. The icon pops up which yeah. is a cup of coffee. Yeah, I need to uh, yeah, rest a bit and uh, let's say I'm distracted by a motorbike here, I'm looking at the window, you see another alarm. Let's say I'm um, making a phone call with uh, my, my mobile phone. It's not allowed, right? So it can take that. But those are, let's say, simple scenarios that, which are based on our assumption, but actually the OEM can do whatever he wants with the real information that the software is giving. So you can see here uh, on the, the bottom of the screen, my head position. So if I'm rotating my head, the system is following precisely my head orientation. So it's mapping you in three dimensions, the, the pitch and the yaw as well. And I'm, I'm quite surprised at how accurate it, and it's real time as well on that readout. Yeah. One sensor yeah. mapping seven different activities on yeah. the hands and then more Correct. on the seats as yeah. well. Correct, exactly. So you see on the middle row, you see my hand position. So you see, you see there, both my hands are on the wheel. Orange is left, uh, blue is uh, right hand. But if I put, for instance, my left hand on the uh, sun visor here, oh, yeah. you see it's filling up there, right. and that's only one sensor, so it's wow. also external sensor, so meaning uh, you cannot break it, or it's very more difficult to, to, to break it. Uh, well, thank you so much for your time, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, right. And if you enjoyed the interview, don't forget to like and subscribe.